least there's an alternate route. It'll slow me, but I can still get to the 66th floor from here. Supplying backup as required. Another time shift? Well, it looks like the only way up to the 66th floor is through the ventilation. Who taught you how to fight? This is nuts. Old nuclear plants had less protection than this. Venom still hiding? I'm face to pasty face with anti venom. Eddie, you're responsible for the explosions? Trying to blow you up. If you were really trying, you'd have done.
What's happening there, Parker? Anti-Venom's fighting himself more than he is me. Subcutaneous control chips would do the job. How dangerous is this guy? He drains my powers on contact, and he's invisible to my spider sense. Terrific. Well, where are you now, and can you avoid Anti-Venom? 66th floor, and yeah, maybe I could... Could avoid him. Plus, if his explosions bring the building down, people for blocks around will be killed. Find a way to get Eddie Brock free of whatever's controlling him. There you are. Eddie, you're being controlled. Fight it! Fight you! Instead! <laughs> <laughs> he took off again. Yeah, if only you'd do the same. O'Hara, if you don't get that I can't turn my back on danger, no matter what the cost, then you've got no business calling yourself Spider-Man. Wow, I'm hurt. Guess what else I am? Still alive. Let's hope you get to keep saying the same thing. I'm sure the switch for that door is around here somewhere. to each other, Eddie, but you've never been anyone's patsy. Oh, good. Stand there and call me. Great plan. This is scarce. Eddie, listen. You've got a chip inside you that's making you do this. Just making it easier. The longer that thing's in you, the more it's rewiring your thinking. No. No, it can't. major problems here. I've got to get the atomic energy regulators out of the way so they're not destroyed. So, I'm in danger of frying from radiation because of explosions on your end? Hey, you're the one who told me about quantum oh, causality. spider speed! Yeah, well, now I'm telling you to fix this. Sheesh, what a grouch. Okay, O'Hara, the first regulator's safe. The radiation level is dropping, but my costume's providing me some protection from it, but... It's not gonna last forever. And just give me a minute to take care of the other two regulators. A minute's about all I have.
Just need a breather. I've gotten the second regulator to safety. Is it still affecting things on your end? Yeah, it's still dropping, but the cumulative effect, if it's not stopped entirely. Have body parts started falling off yet? No, I'm still in one. What do you mean, yet? Are you planning to make this go away or not? You know, you gotta learn to lighten up. I'll take care of the last one. Everything will be fine. Yeah, you're not the one who could end up as a human nightlight. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? This door should do the job. O'Hara, tell me you're okay. Better than okay. I'm back up to full strength. I hate to admit it, but this quantum causality thing of yours is actually pretty effective. No, oh, glad you approve. You know, for something that makes no freaking sense at all. Wait, there's an air duct. I can get to Brock that way. Doesn't look like an automatic door. It's a two-man operation. But I can move fast enough after I hit that switch to get through.
What the heck are these? It looks like they escaped from the Museum of Unnatural History.